Hi there, it's uh, Sanjay again, and today I'm going to be speaking about goals because uh, I was on the phone just yesterday speaking to a client of mine who is running the London Marathon. And yet, uh, just a year ago, uh, when we were working on goals, uh, he wasn't running at all. And yet, now he's going to be running the London Marathon and he's got accepted uh, for it, which means he's got to do something about it. So, how is all of this relevant to goals? And, uh, uh, you know, quite often people come to me and they say, well, I've got all these big goals and I'm achieving some of them and I'm not achieving others, or I've got all these big goals and I'm not achieving anything, or uh, I don't even achieve the smaller goals. And yet, it's not that they don't have a desire to achieve the goals, they really want to achieve the goals. The problem is, they're not achieving them. So, you know, what, what, what is the real kind of uh, uh, thing that's going on there? Well, let me ask you something. If you are going on a journey for the first time, maybe, or you're going, uh, you know, sort of going to a new destination, nowadays, uh, not everybody does, but the vast majority of people, when they're traveling, use a sat nav system in their car uh, or even on their bikes nowadays. And uh, the sat nav gets you from A to B, from where you are to where you want to go. How many destinations do you need to program into the sat now? Now, whether it's uh, an address or a postcode doesn't matter, but how many final destinations do you program into the sat now? And it's pretty obvious. We all program in just one final destination. So if we have a goal, what we've got to do is program in the goal into our sat now. Where's our sat now? It's that bit in there. And we'll achieve our goal, right? No, nope, we don't, because if it was that easy, surely you'd have achieved your goal by now, because in order to program it in there, you don't really need to do much except have a thought, I have this goal, and I'm going to achieve it. You're all capable of that, you've all done that, and yet still, you're struggling with goals. Here's the primary reason that I've discovered in the years that I've been helping people, why people struggle with goals. They have way too many destinations. So... You know with a sat nav system, you program in one destination. Now, in the modern sat navs, I realize that uh, there are th such things as waypoints or wire destinations, and depending whether it's the Americans who program it or the British. Americans call it waypoints. British tend to speak of wire. And there may be more than one of those. Those are stopping off points along the journey before you get to your final destination, but you are still only programmed in one final destination. How many goals have you got? How many goals are you to program or trying to program into your sat nav in there? And since the sat nav can only take one destination, it means that every time you think of a different goal, you're setting a different destination in your sat nav. And one destination might be taking you in that direction. Another destination or goal might be taking you in that direction. No wonder you feel torn because you're trying to go in two different directions or what is probably the, you know, the reality is more than two directions. You're being torn all over the place. You're trying to get all over the place and wondering why you're standing still or not progressing very far. What's the solution? No, it's not to give up on all your other goals, but to set your goals in such a way that the goals lead to one final destination. What is your one final goal? So if you're in business, what is the one clear goal that you have for your business? What is the one thing that you want to do with your business? And all the others become waypoints along the way that as you achieve them, they're taking you closer to your final goal because you're not going off in a completely different direction. Now, uh, obvious example is uh, running. So, you know, I was uh, speaking about a client who, who I was speaking to yesterday. About a year ago, he wasn't even running. He wasn't even really exercising that much. He was overweight. He was unfit. He needed to lose weight. And yet now he's entered the London Marathon. And not only, only has he applied for it, but he's got accepted for it. So suddenly it's very real. And he thought, oh, heck, 
I better do something about this. Now, what has he been doing since then? So when you decide to run a marathon, you don't just turn up on the day of the marathon and say, okay, I'm going to run 26 and whatever number of hundreds of yards. It's 26 miles and the, the short extra distance. You have prepared for it in some way. You start preparing from the day you decide you're going to run the marathon. And very simply, you might just set yourself a target. If you've never run before, one of the first goals might be just to actually put on a pair of running shoes and get out of the door. Or might be to walk a hundred yards. No one might run because you're not exercised at all. Or it might be to run a mile, depends on your level of fitness, where you are, but you will have a goal. And then if it's a distance goal, you will have different goals. You'll build up the distance. So it might be one mile, then it might be five miles, then it might be 10 miles, and then it might be 15 miles, then it might be 20 miles, and then one day you might achieve the 26 miles. But it doesn't just happen because you got one goal. You had a series of smaller goals, but the smaller goals were taking you in the same direction as your main goal. Now, for most people, it's not that. So, you know, if you decide to run the London Marathon, for example, you don't decide to take up rowing. you still got to get out on the road. Okay, you might take up rowing to build up your fitness. That's a waypoint. But the goal is still to run the London Marathon. Not only to run it, but to cross the finish line. It happens in a series of small steps, and all those steps are goals, but every single one of those goals is taking you towards your final destination. If you're truthful to yourself, is your one goal, and do you even have one goal? Do you have one final goal, or do you just have a series of goals which are taking you all over the place? Successful people, in my experience, all seem to have one very clear goal. Whatever that goal is, it's different for different people. But they have one very clear goal. And then everything else happens to be something which is also a goal, but it takes them in the direction of that one goal. So, homework for you today. Do you even have one goal? And if you have one goal, is it the final goal, or is it actually a waypoint along the way? You think it's a final goal, but it's not. It's just a waypoint along the way. And if you have several goals, are they all aligned? Do they take you all over the place, or are they all aligned so they take you to that one goal? Write down your goals and really ask yourself if they're serving you by taking you in the same direction as your one goal, if they're stopping off points, if they're waypoints along the way. And if you have one clear goal, but you don't have a series of smaller goals to measure yourself by, set some of those. These are markers along the way. When you achieve them, you know you're still on track to your main goal. And if you're this honest, if you get down to this level of honesty, that's a great starting point to achieving big goals. And if you want to know exactly how to achieve those goals, then uh, come and have a chat with me, you know, contact me. And let's have a meaningful conversation, not just any conversation, but a meaningful conversation around your goals and how you can achieve them, what's stopping you, and what do you need to do in your situation to achieve the big goals. In the meantime, do that homework. What is your one main goal, if you have one, if you haven't set one, and what are the stopping off points along the way? I'll see you again in a future video. In the meantime, I wish you all the success, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.